Hi! So I'm talking about today how us women of no matter what kind of lifestyle that you live, you can make a meal plan. I don't care if you're a full-time working mom, a stay-at-home mom, you work maybe 20 hours a week, um, or you're a traveling mom who's just not home much. Um, my name is Vanessa Manus, and I'm with Grace Fitness and Nutrition. And these are the topics I want to talk about. How women, as no matter what kind of lifestyle you live, you can make a meal plan. You can take the 10 to 15 minutes it takes to make a meal plan each week. So, the first thing that you need to do is make a list of all the foods that you and your family enjoy to eat, that you know will eat, um, that they're not going to complain about eating. Um, I'm sure after many years of cooking for your family, um, you know what they like. So first, that's, that's what you want to do. You want to make your list of foods that you and your family enjoy to eat. And then if you have time um, during this process, the ideal situation would be for you to do a food inventory of all the food that you have in your house. I'm talking cabinets, pantry, refrigerator, um, the multiple refrigerators possibly that you have, maybe in the garage, the freezers, all the freezers that you have. Um, I want you to write down everything you have in the house. Now that's ideally. Um, some of you may not have the time to do that and if you don't, that's fine. Um, and I do have a video where I explain how exactly to um, kind of delve into doing food inventory um, that you'll have to watch or I can place um, under the comment section of this video. Um, just give me a comment there if you want me to place that underneath there or I can shoot you over to my YouTube page um, where you can get that video to give you more details. So make a list of all the foods that you will, you and your family will eat. Do a food, food inventory of all the foods in your house if you can. Um, the next step you want to do is um, make the things that you and your family will eat, um, prepare them simply. So what I'm talking about that is, um, let's just say chicken for instance. Um, boil up or grill up a bunch of chicken and then freeze it um, or keep it in the fridge and plan, let's just say three or four meals um, the next week with chicken base. Um, they don't have to be the same meal for all three or four. You can do a variety of different things with chicken. Um, and then your snacks, um, pick out you know, a couple of snacks, um, like nuts, fruit, that those are your snacks for all week long. Instead of trying to make a brand new, different kind of meal every single day of the week, a brand new, different kind of snack every single day of the week, that takes a ton of time to plan and prepare. So make it super simple and just pick out a couple of proteins, I'm, I'm even talking maybe two proteins, that you will base um, one meal around all week long. Pick two, maybe three snacks that you will eat all week long. That is going to make it super, super simple for you. Um, next, uh, plan, out, plan out one meal per day for the next seven days. That's gonna be your first step to this. If you're brand new to meal planning and you just find it super overwhelming, just take this very first step and plan out one meal per day for the next seven days. That can be supper, lunch, breakfast, whatever, whatever is easiest for you to do. There's no rhyme or rule to meal planning. It's all up to you but I would suggest doing one meal a day. Um, then plan out that next week that you do your meal plan. You're still doing your one meal a day, but then add in one snack a day that you will plan out for the whole week. You have to start out with meal planning 
easy. If you attempt it full head on from the very beginning, you're not going to want to do it ever again. I promise you, it can get super overwhelming and I don't want that to happen to you. I'm here to make your life easier when it comes to meal planning, not more difficult. And lastly, um, how I kind of want to end this is if you want you and your family, um, if you want your eating routine to be easier, then you're going to need to take 10 to 15 minutes every week to sit down and plan. 10 to 15 minutes. You may say you don't have 10 to 15 minutes. I promise you, you do. What are you doing watching TV? What are you doing scrolling Facebook? What are you doing just gazing in the sun and not, uh, not really doing anything? We all have 10 to 15 minutes where we can meal plan. Um, those few short minutes um, can save all the yelling, the fighting, the door slams, um, the unhealthy food choices um, for everybody in your family. And I bet that you and your family will probably even lose a few pounds or a few inches um, because you are planning out your meals. You know what you're eating ahead of time. So not only are you going to lose possibly a little bit of weight in a few inches, you're going to gain the family interaction um, that you probably didn't have when you weren't meal planning. Um, so, all that being said, first thing you want to do is make a list of all the foods your family like. Kind of step 1.5 is do that food inventory if you have time. Step two is to um, make things like chicken and fruits and nuts. Get those prepped ahead of time so that you can make meals and snacks from those. The third thing is just your first step is to plan out one meal a day for seven days. The next week, plan out that one meal, continue planning out that one meal, and then just add in one snack a day that you're planning out. And you're just going to build from that. And lastly, if you want a better life for you and your family, um, health-wise, relationship-wise, then meal planning, honestly, folks, is super-duper important. Um, I hope this is super helpful for you. Um, I know it is for me and my family. It saves a lot of headache every night. And I even have my little girl saying, hey, mom, what's on the list for me to eat tonight? What's, what am I eating tonight? She, she's, she's only six, six years old as I'm making this video right now. And she already knows the benefits to meal planning. Um, even at such a young age, she knows that mama meal plans every single week and I get her food all ready for her. So anyways, I will leave you guys at that. Again, hope this is super helpful. If you have questions, comments, um, you need some desperate help with this um, because this still isn't enough for you to to get started or you just don't know how to start, then by all means, reach out to me by a comment, an email, a Facebook message, and I would be more than happy to help you get started on this journey. Thanks.